Hello then my good friends of YouTube. Well, yeah, been a couple of days, so I've got a bit of a treat for you. Now, a good friend of mine brought a couple of TVs around for me, and I'd like to thank that person. You knew how you know who you are. You are a star, mate. He said to me, well, you know, we can get them for you. So he did. And I have got a rear projection TV. Yep. Yes, guys, that is one beast of a rear projection. It's huge. Of course, when I was moving it, this cover fell off, which, of course, is for the speakers. The bottom there. I mean, it's in pretty good condition. There's a few scuffs on it, and that way it's been in the van. But uh, let me get the tape measure. Tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. And let me show you how big this thing is. Yep, that's what's inside of it. Three of those beauties. There we go, come on. Stop messing about. Just hold that for us, guys. Cheers. It is half an inch under four feet long. Half an inch, four feet long. And the height of this thing. Just hold that there for us, guys, will you? <laughs> it's a bugger when you're on your own. Is it going to stay? I hate this tape measure. I don't normally use this tape measure. And it's four feet, one inch high. And the depth... Well, I don't think we need to go into that much of the depth, but... They're pretty backed, like a CRT. Well, it is a CRT, isn't it? Same thing. It's got three of these in it, the RGB. <clears throat> so... And of course I've got that one, which is a Sony, oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a Toshiba, the ridge projection, and this is a Sony. <clears throat> and a strange name, Bayer. Is that Bayer? Would you pronounce that Bayer? And yes, we are going to strip them down. I think I might keep this one, because you can't get hold of them anymore. Listen to this, guys. A long time since you've probably heard this. I don't know if you heard anything, but look at that. Classic 50 hertz. Fantastic. You just don't see these anymore, do you? <clears throat> Let me see if I can turn this on. The I think there's a problem with the lamps in this, I'm not sure. Oh, I think I've turned it on. There you go, can you see that? Let's stand back. You can see it all. <laughs> Amazing, eh? Really technology for that day. There's a bit of grey in it, grey in, greyish there under the under the projection lens. Well, it's a, like a lens because it focuses the light it, to the size of the screen. So there's something gone off there. <clears throat> Let's show you down the back of this thing. Move that off before I move because now my bloody look it'll fall off. A label on the back it says 160 watts. That's probably wow. Well, hmm, you get a bit less than that on some flat screens. Suppose on a 50 inch flat screen, you'd probably get it 160 watts. I can't remember what the wattage is now on these flat screens. I can't even remember what mine is. Yeah, you got uh, the classic scart leads. Bono connections and 
pretty mono, uh, not digital aerial, standard aerial. I can't remember what the name is now. <coughs> so yeah, so let's turn this off, unplug it, and let's unplug it by the plug down here. What's wrong with this stupid phone with the bloody focus? Oh, it's a setting up or on, I think. I have to tap the screen for it to focus on certain things. So I'm sick of it not focusing on what I wanted it to focus. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, look, see, so I have to touch it. I have to turn that off. So, check the next video up, guys. And I'll show you inside of this beauty. Catch you later. Look after yourselves and be safe. See you in the next video, guys. Oh, wait. See, some of you that have waited till the end of the video, I've got something to show you. Now, what do you think this is in this bag? <clears throat> Let's go to somewhere where you can see. See, most of you would have probably gone since I said bye. What can that be? Yes, my good friend brought these around for me as well. What do you think they are? Have a guess. These are carbon rods. And I've got, I think I've got 11 of them. All together. <clears throat> now, I am going to be doing a video. I've got a nice warm day. And I'm going to be making some serious arc, guys. Like the classic carbon light lamps that they used to have years ago. Of course... I won't be looking at it directly because that would be silly. I'll be using a welder's mask or one of those fractural bloody um, green screens out of a welder's mask because it would be a bit silly to look at the, the light of what these produce because it's extremely bright. And I think I might use that which is my welder to do this because my welder gives out about 70 amp uh, 70 volts <clears throat> it's stupid amps so yeah that should be a good video <clears throat> thanks for sticking on the end of the video there guys you look forward to that you know what's coming see you again guys take care Ooh, beauty thanks matey